Hey, it's time, more Pokemon Platinum. In the last episode, we got our first gym badge. We destroyed Rourke with our good old Spaghetti Badoo right down over here. He's pretty epic. I did do a little bit of grinding, as I said I would. Uh, not as much as I wish I could, because um, it takes a long time. I spent 20 minutes grinding, and I only got, like, two levels up on each of these two, and that's literally it, because Clam Chatter, I... <sighs> Clam Chatter's so bad. Literally so bad. Modest? So, Modest... <sighs> That's terrible. That gives it higher special attack, and it's a physical attacker. That's that's really bad. Calm. I think that's like plus sp 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 special defense. I'm not sure. Modest. Um, that's pretty bad for you too. Serious. Naive. Naive. I'm not sure what naive is. But yeah, modest on uh, these two is not good. What was spaghetti again? If you were modest, that'd be good. Serious. I don't remember. I think it's like minus speed or something. I can't remember. Maybe it's plus speed. I don't really remember. I only remember the competitive ones. Anyway, um, yep, we're going on to the next town that I want to go to. We have to go up in this little cave up over here. There's a Badoo blocking our path, and I checked what level uh, Zubat gets wing attack, and oh my gosh, it's like level 18 or something, and the most, I think like the most viable move it gets isn't until level 13, which is bite, and uh, that's pretty bad. So, um, poor Clam Chowder kinda sucks. Kinda sucks, I must say. I hate to say it, because I really like Zubat, but like without wing attack, it's just so bad. The fact that you have to wait till level 18 to get to it is so long. But I'm just gonna wait until I get bite, because once I get bite, hopefully that'll be a little bit easier for me, and then I'll be able to actually do damage instead of just slowly drain away this level four Badoo that's now going to absorb, and I'm probably gonna have to attack one more time, and it's gonna be really bad, and it sucks. But it's okay, because Clam Chowder's gonna crit in one shot, right, Clam Chowder? Right, Clam Chowder? Come on! Ah! Alright, take seven, seven Leech Slipes to take out a single Badoo. Level four. Wow. And you know what would take it out? Two wing attacks. Two wing attacks, Clam Chowder. That's all it takes, bud. Oh boy, this is... This is rough. Are you a trainer? You are not. There are boulders blocking the way inside the cavern. I think opponents hit him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, that's exactly what we got Almond for. Um, but let's also make sure we get our encounter. So, if our encounter in this cave is a Zubat, it does not count. So, uh, let's just walk around until we get something. So, I think the only other thing we can get is a Geodude, actually. Um, to my knowledge. Okay, we can't go over there because that's Surf. All right, so our encounter is a... <gasps> It's a Zubat. Okay, well, it doesn't count, like I said, so I'm backing out. Man, why is it whenever you want to run into Pokemon, you never run into it? Okay, let's see. It's another Zubat. Okay, is this only Zubat? You know what? I think I might come back here later, because there is a Surf Cave to the left, so we could go check that out later. Maybe get, like, a Feebas or something. I don't know if we can, but that'd be kind of cool if I got, like, a Milotic in this playthrough. That'd be sick. Are you a trainer? You are not. Are you raising different kinds of Pokemon? If you only have the same type of Pokemon, you'll have a hard time against why type it's weak to. Yeah, no, I think my team is, like, you know, decently balanced right now. You're a trainer for sure. That's right. Okay. Please have something weak to bug. Like, have a grass type. What kind of person are you to be drawn here by the scent of flowers? Uh, no, I'm drawn here by the scent of progression in a video game, actually. Uh, but you know, flowers are cool too. Aroma Lady Taylor, that come on, that's screaming grass types. But do, okay. Uh, let's level nine. Yeah, I can't do anything about that. So I'm going to swap out into. Oh, that's right. We don't really have anything. Now that I think about it, I was like, oh, it's so balanced. But now I think about it, I actually don't have anything good against uh, Badoos. And um, I am really scared of Poison Point, especially. So Buscati is really the only one who can, you know, kind of take out Badoo. Like, until I get, um, like, Peck with Piplup or Wing Attack with, um, freaking Zubat, I actually can't do anything against the grass types, so that's actually gonna, hold on, now I think about it, this is actually gonna be rough for me, cause uh, the next gym leader is a grass type gym leader, so I'm gonna have to find some grass coverage here real soon, man, this is what I really wanted a Starly, Starly's so good early game, Starly's so good throughout the entire game, like I'd be easily destroying this Badoo if I had wing attack, I would probably not even need Zubat, but you know Zubat is nice, I like Zubat, so you know what, I'll take Zubat too. Whoa, that's a lot. Okay. Um, uh, well, you did grow a few times, so that's okay. Come on, one shot. Oh, almost there. Absorb. Oh, please don't tell me I have to do one more. Come on, don't crit me or anything crazy like that. I really don't want to have to keep hitting you over and over again. Okay, that should still kill you. Please. Please kill. Come on. Yes, okay, thank goodness. Whew. Sorry, Badoo. I hate taking you out, but it had to be done. Had to be done. All right, let's see. Cherubi. Okay, yes, that's... Oh, no, shoot. Ugh, come on. I meant to switch. I'm so stupid. 
No, you know what? Stop fighting. What am I saying? I'm literally just brain dead. Okay. We got into Clam Chowder. We hopefully don't die, and we just leech life over and over and over again. We could even supersonic to get a little lucky. Let's see. What moves do you have? Growth. Okay. I think you have, like, Bullet Seed or something? So I'm going to supersonic you first. Let's do that. Just give you some confusion. If you hit yourself, you know, that's just some bonus points. Let's see. And come on, Truby. Yeah, that's right. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Ooh, okay. Not, that's some decent damage. Leech life. How much does it do? It's super effective. Come on. Let's see. I actually would love a Truby if I got a Truby. Ah, oh, it sucks. Okay. We might barely be able to take you out. If you keep hitting yourself in confusion, we might actually be able to do it. Yes, we're getting lucky. That's what we need. That's what we need. Come on, Clam Chowder. One more time. One more time. Come on. Okay, Leech... No! What the frick? You have Leech Seed? No! I hate Leech Seed, dude. Passive healing. I mean, it only heals at 1 HP, but still. I mean, I'm also healing with Leech Life, but it's just like, come on. It's not like I... I just wish I had a damaging move. I, it's my only move I can damage with. Come on. Ah. Uh, thank you for staying confused. Hit yourself. No, okay, that's 50-50, that's fine. That does make sense. Ah, oh, this sucks. It's another one of these. It's another one of these early game Pokemon battles that just take nine years. Please, just perish, Truby. Get a crit, Clam Chowder, something. Oh, gosh, and you do like a lot of, you do five damage to me. Actually, you do seven per turn. That's scary. Okay, please hit this supersonic, don't miss. Ah, uh, no. Clam freaking Chowder, I swear. You can't do anything right. Ah, uh, you're so bad. All right, Almond. Come on. Wait, did I learn a move? I'm sorry. Did I learn something? I, I swear I saw a fourth move slot. Defense. Okay. Okay, so I didn't learn anything. <laughs> I literally basically didn't learn anything. Okay, defense code isn't terrible. It's better than growl, in my opinion. But I guess it doesn't really matter because uh, opponents never switch out. Anyway, Clam Chatter leveled up anyway. That's good. I just need to get to level 13. That's all I need. Because once I learn Bite, I'll at least I actually be able to do something. It was a strong trainer who was drawn here by the Cinderflower. Yep, okay. Sure, whatever you say. Whatever you say. Um, do I potion up the Zubat? I think I might. Gosh, Clam Chowder is just, it's just slacking so hard. Oh, Bug? Bug? Bug Trainer? Oh, wait, never mind, it doesn't matter. Hey, hey, let me show off my Bug Collection. Okay, can you please have like, Grass Bug so it's super effective? All right, is Bug? Bug is neutral against Bug, right? I'm pretty sure it is. Wurmple. Um, okay. You have like poison sting. Oh, you sound terrible. You sound terrible, Clam Chowder. Oh my goodness. Hit yourself? Okay, string shot. Ooh. All right. All right. That's uh, less than ideal. Who do we swap out into to deal with you? I think we might just go back out into... No, we could go bread. I'm going to go bread. Bread hasn't seen the light of day since the last episode. So, I mean, I guess it's the same as all the other ones. But whatever, it's fine. What? Are you serious? One turn confusion and you didn't, weren't even confused. What is that garbage? That's trash. The first two turns literally meant nothing against us, I guess. Huh. I can't wait to like, get the EXP share. EXP share makes things so much easier. Just so like whenever you have like a garbage mon that can't do anything, at least you can like at least train it up while not having to like swap train. And swap training is so annoying because it literally wastes a turn and you just have to sit there. But it's okay, you know? It's okay, it's Pokemon. We got bread. I somehow keep getting string shotted even though... Okay, you really just wanted to go first to hit me with that tackle, I guess. Listen, my bread's already pretty slow. It's okay. The Quick Claw, though! Your string shot does not matter. I got the Quick Claw. You're dead. See ya, worm. Aw, he's a worm. That guy's a worm. All right, 57. Not bad. Cricket Tot. I'm going to swap into Clam Chowder. Um, it's probably just going to spam Bide. So what do we want to do about that? We want to probably just use Supersonic, actually. Because Supersonic actually interrupts Bide. But then again, will I actually die here? Okay, you are using Bide. I'm pretty sure Sewer Sonic can interrupt Bide. So let's do that. Let's see how this works. Do I potion though? Do I potion? I'm gonna potion. I don't want to risk Clam Chowder dying because I really, really want a Crobat. Crobat is super sick. And even though it's a modest nature, it'll be fine, you know? It just gives them character. Okay, I swear I thought that said, uh, breaks out of confusion. Storing energy, okay, cool, cool. How about a leech life, though? Please hit yourself. Come on. Yeah, that's right. Disrupt the bide. All right, this is going to do absolutely nothing. I just want to see how much it's going to do. Let's see. Come on. 
Two damage? Three damage? Uh, maybe not even one. I hate bye, dude. What do you do against it? Oh, you know what? Oh, uh, no, you're not gonna... I, I can't poison point you. I literally can't poison point... All right, I'm just going out into spaghetti. The MVP. The MVP spaghetti. Man, I wish he would actually hit me. Um, or maybe I can. Maybe I can get him to hit me. If I... Okay, now you're faster. Because if he hits me with bide, then he gets poisoned. Then I can slowly kill him. That's a thing. Yes. Use bide while I mega drain you. Then he can do like seven damage to me. Then you hit me. Then I poison point you. And then you die. Ah, <sighs> come on. Unleash the energy. Hit me. There we go. No poison point. What the frick? Okay, well, that's two growth. That means you actually should just die to two mega drains. Hopefully. Let's see. Let's calculate this. Let's make actually make sure it's confirmed. Come on. Mega drain one. Let's see. How much? Oh, okay. Yeah, you're super dead. Yeah, you're super dead. Goodbye. Mega drain, you're dead. Store all the energy you want, Cricket Tot, because it won't be for long. Spaghetti has stolen your life. You are already dead. Perish, Cricket Tot. You're not even Cricketoon. You don't even have the funny woo -do 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 -do. Goodbye. Perish. Aw, oh, it's really cute, though. Cricket Tot is really cute. I do like it. It's just so freaking annoying with its bide spam. All right, Spaghetti, level up? Nope, not yet. Okay. Spaghetti is almost level 15. That's pretty good. I'm not going to be able to explain... I guess I'm not going to be able to say what you're going to about to explain. You just said it way too fast. Fine by me. All right, double battle. Um... This is actually going to be interesting. Uh, let's go... You know, let's start off with Biscotti and Clam Chatter. Just so we can get the Intimidate off. Then we can swap with potentially both of them. Here we go. Bootleg Li Liza and Tate or whatever. Hi. Uh, we can one-shot this trainer, can't we, Liz? We're the strongest in our class. Wait, Liz and Liv. Okay, cool. Um, also, you said one-shot? What the frick? You don't know, you're not supposed to know what that means. Not that it really means anything... Pachirisu and Pachirisu, huh? Let me guess, they know Spark? Okay, well, now I definitely have to switch. Oh, shoot, now I think about it. Uh, this is actually really bad. Can I swap into anything that's not weak to... Okay, I think I have to leave Biscotti out, actually. I didn't want to, but I think I'm going to potion up Biscotti while I send out uh, Almond instead? Let's try Almond. And then we're going to go... See, Double Bows are really scary because they can double up on a Pokemon and you're not expecting it. So that could be really, really scary. That's why I wanted the Intimidate off. That's why I wanted that Intimidate. If they don't have Spark and they just go for, like, Tackle, it's whatever. But I'm pretty sure they have Spark. Something tells me Pachirisu at this level is going to have Spark. All right. Quick Attack. On to Biscotti. Not too bad. Another Quick Attack. All right. I guess they're just going to spam Quick Attack. That's cool. That's fine. Go ahead. I'm going to probably Defense Curl with Almond. Get some extra defense. And then I'm just going to start killing one of these Pachirisus. Quick Attack. On Biscotti. That's cool. I think they're literally going to quick attack. Oh, okay, now they're doubling up. That's what's scary. See, they must have known Almond is going for defense color or something. There we go. Get fat. There we are. Okay, now I'm going to spam Rock Smash because it lowers the defense of them. And I'm just going to kill a single Potch. I just want one of these Potch who's dead. There we go. Resistant. All right, cool. I'm fine with this. This is okay. We're doing good. We're doing fine. Tackle. That does nothing. Rock Smash. All right, we're in for the long run. This is okay. Lower defense. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. See, Rock Smash isn't as bad as people say because it lowers defense. That's what you're looking for. All right, I am nervous, though, so I'm going to double potion. I really don't like the idea of double po- Wait, what? Did I just double potion on the same Pokemon? I feel like I did. Hold on. Did I actually just do- Oh, thank goodness. Oh, that's interesting. I thought it just started whenever it- Okay, never mind. Okay, that was really weird. I guess you can use the potion on whatever you want on that exact turn, no matter what turn. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That just means the potion priority. That's fine. All right, quick attack. Whatever. That's cool. Now we just need to keep destroying these. I just need to get rid of one. Once I get rid of one, I can actually just destroy the rest. But like, it, having two of them is scary. It just is scary. Even if they're only spamming quick attack, but it's fine. Thanks for doubling up on the biscotti. I appreciate it. Okay, there we go. Almond. That's better. Rock smash death, maybe? Almost. Okay. Well, don't bother lowering the defense now. All right, so we're gonna go for Rock Smash on this potch so that we can lower its defense and then we'll kill with uh, Biscotti on the other one. Please stop doubling up on me. Come on. You really just wanna kill Biscotti. Oh my gosh, I see it. I can tell. All right, that one's dead. Whew, one's down. Now Almond and everyone's gonna get EXP. It seems like there is no spark. That's the good thing. Rock Smash, there we go. And no defense lowered, unfortunately. All right, Biscotti could die to a critical quick attack, so I'm not gonna let that happen. I'm gonna go out into Clam Chatter. 
I'm gonna pray that it doesn't have spark. It doesn't seem like it has spark. It has growl and quick attack. That's all it seems like it has. How much do you do to Clam Chatter? That's still a little more than ideal, but you know what? We're just gonna whittle away at you. That's my that's my goal. Just whittle away at this freaking Pachirisu. Oh, Charm. Onto Almond? Oh, wait, no. Oh, that's right, Lord's Attack. Oh, a lot. That's actually by a lot. Okay, I forgot about Charm. I don't know why, I thought it was the other one, a track. That's what I thought it was. Confused? Hit yourself? Yes, thank you. Thank you for doing my job for me. This actually might kill. Leech Life plus Rock Smash? I think this might kill. Let's see. One damage with the Leech Life, probably. Yep. And then I think Rock Smash kills. Let's see. Yep. Goodbye. Whew. Man. Early game Pokemon, dude. Early game Pokemon. Level up for Clam Chowder, yes! Keep getting those levels, Clam Chowder, and goodbye, Special Attack. <laughs> Astonish. Okay, we at least got something else other than freaking Leech Life. Now we can do damage to something, and... Yes! Spark! And Almond levels up, too. Oh my goodness, it's going crazy. Any new moves? Okay, that's fine. Live and Liz, you're dead. Oh, oh, oh? Oh, but wait! No, no way. Give me that cash, and I'm heading out of here right now. We got Astonish and Spark on our side now. We are freaking unstoppable. Give me that item right now. What is it? TM09 Bullet Seed. Well, I can let you know I'm never going to use Bullet Seed in this playthrough unless I use it for the memes. Okay. Here we are. Floroma Town. I love this town. This town is so cute. There's just, it's literally just flowers everywhere. There's just literally flowers everywhere in this town, and I love it. This is when we get introduced to the honey mechanic where if you put honey on trees, you can actually, like, you know, get some. Oh, berries. Can I have some? There's an orange berry. Want to pick it? Yes. Yay. Do, 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 do. Aw, that's so cute. I love the berries. And this is Cherry Berry. Okay, that heals paralysis. Yay. Give me the berries. All right. So can I actually go off to the right? Probably not. Someone's going to stop me. Oh, not yet. Okay, more berries. Let's grab some more berries. Chesto Berry. Okay, that heals uh, sleep. That's a Rusto Chesto setup. And then what is this one over here? It's a Pekka Berry. Okay, that heals poison. I think I see somebody out over there. Whomst is that? Um, a child. Um... Let's go see if we can help said child. Hello, child. Do you mean to fight Team Galactic for you? Help, help, trainer. Please, I want to see my papa. My papa and I lived at the Valley Windworks. But then a whole bunch of people uh, dressed like spacemen came. They kicked me out, and they're making my papa do something. Please, trainer, I miss my papa. Oh, don't worry, I'll see if I can help you. What are you Team Galactic fools up to, dude? We, Team Galactic, are conducting a research in the Interna Forest. It's as far as you will go. Our research involves cutting Pokemon in the flowery meadows of Floroma. We are also covertly stealing uh, stealing the energy of value and works, but that is of no concern to you. <laughs> this shows me off. Yeah, okay, I know I have to go to the right, but uh, as much as I really want another encounter, I'm actually not going to get an encounter here because right in this spot on Fridays, there is a Drifloon that you can catch, and I actually really, really want the Drifloon because I love Drifloon, and that's the only place you can get it in the game, only on Fridays, and today is actually Wednesday at the time I'm recording this, so hopefully when I record it, this Friday, if I have a chance, which I hope I will, we'll be able to snag ourselves a little bit of a drift loon there. Let's see, there's Floroma Meadow up over here. Enough arguing. Hand over that sweet honey. Do as we say. Team Galactic will have that honey. We must have it to attract Pokemon in great numbers. Oh, <laughs> hey, this kid is a witness. What do we do? We don't need the brat running up to get help. The situation's simple. We ensure the brat stays quiet. Oh, ho, ho. Wait, is it double battle or is it? I, I think it's not a double. I think it's uh, we fight one, then we fight the other, I believe. All right, Galactic Grunt. Here we go. Versus the Stunky. So Stunky is poison dark? Po or just poison? I think it's poison dark. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go out into Biscotti, lower your attack, and then I'm going to Spark. Because now that I finally have Spark, I have Stab, which is really good. And even though you're freaking modest nature, it's fine, Biscotti. It's, it's, it's fine. It doesn't matter. You can have all the less attack that you want. All right, the Screech is kind of scary, but it's only by one stage technically because of the Intimidate. Here comes Spark. Big damage, hopefully. Let's see. Maybe half damage? Okay, almost. And the Paralysis? Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Biscotti with the very first Spark coming in with the Paralysis. I love it. And now he outspeed, and you might be dead. Almost. Poison Gas. Yes, let's go. Miss. All right, well, let's finish off a Tackle. No need to waste our PP. Goodbye, Stunky. Get out of there. There was a fair fight. That was level 13 versus level 13. That's right. You gotta pick on somebody your own size, not my poor little Zubat. This is why I'm gonna be stuck as a grunt forever. Okay. Yeah, I'm not really using the Psyduck right now because I'm not a big fan of Psyduck, but maybe I'll use it later. Oh, this is so lame. They're gonna dock my pay. 
I'm up next. <laughs> Battling you right after my cohort weakened you gives me the edge. Bruh, do you look at have you seen my you didn't even he didn't even hit any of my Pokemon! He just wasted a couple PP slots, that's it. Oh, you have two. Let me guess. Oh you have a Zubat, okay. Uh level eleven. Wow, I'm a little jealous, I won't lie. Okay, well, we are gonna do the exact same thing as last time. Swap it with Biscotti, spam spark, and you're probably gonna die in one hit because you're a Zubat and you're not level 13, you're level 11. Alright, let's see. What are you gonna go for? Leech Life, Supersonic, or Astonish? Okay, yep, there's Astonish. I love the sound of Astonish, it sounds so squeaky. Crit! What the frick? No, Perish. Perish, Zubat. Wow, I'm faster? Okay. Well, then again, I'm, level, I'm level 13. I know, Zubats tend to be pretty fast. And there's the one shot. That's what I'm talking about. Here we go. Now we're one-shotting. This feels good. Now we don't just spam normal moves where it just goes psh, 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 back and forth over and over and over again. Um, okay, listen. Listen. I know this is, like, literally dumb, but I'm going to swap over to Zubat just so I can get a, uh, EXP, swap back in with um, good ol' Biscotti, and then just do the same thing over and over again. Because, come on, I need the EXP on Clam Chowder. I need it. Yeah, go ahead, take your one HP, maybe two if you're lucky. Two. Okay, you're lucky this time. Well, now you're dead. Spark. Man, this is why I love electric types. They're so freaking strong. Are you dead? One hit? There we go. Feels good, man. That's what I'm talking about. Now, level up. Clam Chowder level 10. Yes. Okay, rip defense. RIP DEFENSE <laughs> Galactic Grunts defeated. I mean, I want a promotion so I can get some tougher Pokemon Just go catch them yourself, dude! There's a Friday Floon you can catch! This brat's tough! Like, really, really tough! Tougher than I could put into words, and I know a lot of words! <laughs> we're done for- we're done for here! Let's get back to Valley Windworks! Oh, okay... Uh-huh... Oh, what's this thing? They seem to have forgotten it! It's the works key. It must be for the Valley Windward. Okay, I didn't even know that was where I got it. <laughs> I guess I just kind of did the right thing first. It's of no use to me. You might as well have it. All right, well, thanks. I'll use that to invade the place. Thank you. You surely saved me. Those goons were trying to rob me of my sweet, sweet honey. They sure were weird, though. You saw how they were dressed. What were they, uh, what they were saying didn't make a whole lot of sense either. Oh, I need to thank you. This sweet, sweet honey. Go on, take a whole lot. Obtain the honey. So I use a whole lot, or do I just get, like, one? Slide that honey on a sweet-smelling tree, it might attract Pokemon. Yeah, it will, actually. Um, let's see, I believe there's a- yeah, there's a tree and a house over here. Let's go check out the house. I don't think there's anything in it, actually. Let's see. Anything- put honey on a tree, check back later for it's rustling. Yeah, okay. Rare Pokemon. Yeah, rare- that's how you get, like, trubies and stuff. The flowers that grow in the fields are here are special. Do you see other, uh, more vivid than the flowers elsewhere in Sinnoh? You could thank Pokemon for that. Yeah, I always liked this place because I could always just- Walk in the flowers, and I liked that. I thought it was fun. Oh, is this an item? Okay, no, so I thought it was because it, like it was the only one surrounded by yellow. Okay, yeah, but look at how pretty this one is. The flowers just going. I always really liked this town. Anyway, I'm actually going to slather some of this honey on this tree, and uh, hopefully we'll come back later. And when you see it rustling, which it it really rustles, it definitely rustles. Um, hopefully we can get uh some rare Pokemon such as like Cherubi, Combi, Apom. Something like that. That'd be kind of cool. So anyway, um, we have a little bit more time left in today's episode, so I think we can actually go see if we can invade Team Galactic's hideout just for a bit, but I'm going to ignore an encounter here because, again, we want that floon. So hey, dude, I got the key. Let me in, dude. Don't you dare go into Valley Windworks. I got order to keep everyone out if they're not part of Team Galactic. You're giving me a look that makes you think you're trying to get in. Okay, then. You have to battle me for it. Okay, dude, sure, that's what you want. You really want me to kill your Pokemon? I'm sorry, that's that's really horrible. Uh, I only got one. Let me get Stunky. Glamio, okay. Um, level 13. So, yeah, Clam Chowder's probably not the best for this. Let's go. Let's send in bread. Let's send in bread. I could have, oh, I could have gone, no, I should have gone, I should have gone Almond. I should have gone, so I can spam, uh, okay, at least I get the fake out out of there. Um, wow, that does a decent amount, jeez. That is a lot more than I thought it would hold me. That means... Okay. Did Fake Out and Scratch do the same percent? Uh, they did. That's really weird. Oh, let's go! Freaking Quick Claw! <laughs> dude, that Quick Claw is gonna come and clutch one day, I swear. Like, truly clutch. Growl, that's fine, dude! I'm using Special Attack. Go ahead and growl at me all you want, you stupid cat. The Quick Claw again! Oh my gosh, bread can't be stopped! <laughs> Gosh, that that actually is really scary damage. Oh, why is this Glamio so strong? I might have to go back out into uh, Biscotti again, lower that attack. All right, Almond, 
How much damage onto you? Mm, 11? That's so much damage. Growl, that's fine. I don't care. I just, I'm just rock smashing you. Hopefully, I'm going to lower your defense. That's all I need. That's all I... That's literally all I need. Come on. Lower defense? Yes. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. We might be able to kill. Scratch. Okay, there's a scratch. Don't get critted. Okay. We die in one more hit, so we have to switch. Are you dead? No, you have one more hit. You have one more. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. What do we go out into? We can go out into... Glam Chowder's fast, but Glamia's really fast. I'm gonna go out into Biscotti. I have to. Glamia is super fast. A lot faster than you think it is. A lot. I think it has like 90-something base speed, so that's a lot. We got the Intimidate off. That's really good. There we go. Okay, you went for Growl anyway. Uh, thank you. You would have you saved my b -doop, but I was not gonna take the risk. Tackle. Yeah, you're still faster than me. How much damage on Biscotti? Yeah, 9 damage. That's, that's a decent amount of damage. Like, that's pretty good. Usually, like, most things are doing like 5 to me, but you're doing like 9? That's kind of scary. Alright, unfortunately we got pretty even EXP around the board. Yeah, four people fought that thing. Yeah, like I'm really supposed to win with a Pokemon like this. What are you talking about? That thing was crazy! I could have lost two of my mons had I not been careful. Isn't that just great? Getting owned by some kid. You can't do a thing if I lock myself in with a works key. That's right, the other works key's not here. My cohorts in the flower patch have, uh, have the only other one. <laughs> in that sense, I'm no longer the loser. Listen, d Kerchunk. Okay, well, I, I like how he told me that they're over there, despite me already having the key, but okay, dude. Alrighty, it's locked on the inside. Okay, I quickly want to go heal. Kerchunk, the door to the value one works open. Let's go, get in there. Come on, Seeker, we can do this. Ah. <laughs> hey, what? No way, you have the key? Locking the door was meaningless. I am the loser in this after all. There's no time for self-pity. I've got to load the commander. Oh, the commander, eh? Oh. Let me just go take a look at this commander here then. Oh, oh geez, okay, I thought you were the same guy. <laughs> Oi, this is no fun and games. This is proper work, I tell you. Oh, proper work, yeah. Robbing people is work. I see how it is, Mr. Galactic Team Man. All right, what do you got? Zubat, okay, level 13. Okay, that's going straight to my Biscotti. That's right, free EXP for Biscotti. Get out here, bud. It's time. Clam Chatter is actually gonna hopefully keep getting some EXP here. You're about to level up too, Biscotti. Actually, when does when does Biscotti evolve? I think it's like some somewhere in the teens. Oh, thank goodness that missed. Thank goodness that saved me a lot of suffering. Because knowing me, I'd probably get hit and confused a thousand times. All right, one shot. There it is. Yes, so good. Okay, I am destroying Zubat left and right, and that gives me speed EVs, so I'll be able to outspeed things, which is so good. Very nice. It's got level 14. There we go. Okay, I don't know when it evolves into Luxio, but I hope it does soon. What? Well, some brat messed up my job! It's fine, dude. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, well, it's not level 14. I can tell you that much. All right. Oh, another one. Okay, there's the commander over there. But we'll collect... Or, <laughs> collect. We'll fight you first. Collecting energy from the Valley Windworks. That's our mission! Okay, dude. Well, I'm glad you're going for efficient ways and not using up fossil fuels or whatever. You know, you want that renewal, renewable energy. I can get behind that. All right, another Glam Meow. Okay, Clam Chowder. Let's see what we can do here. Um, we are going to not astonish because that is completely useless and will not work. So, uh, your attack is high. I'm going to go back out into Almond, though. We're both level 10, so I'll get a pretty decent amount of EXP for both of us. How close are you to level? Not even close. Okay, Scratch. How much damage? Ah, uh, Okay. I am going to growl you then, because I hate that you're doing that much damage. I actually really hate that. Growl. Actually, I should be defense curling now I think about it. Um, yeah, let me defense curl. Now you're growling me. Okay, that's fine. That's cool. I can lower your defense with Rock Smash. I'm just going to make myself super fat while I have the chance. Uh, and if you crit me, then I'm going to cry. Don't crit me. Don't you do it. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, two defense curls and one... Growl, that's uh, pretty good. I'm gonna use a potion on Almond. No, thank goodness. Oh, thank, thank goodness I didn't uh, accidentally do that. All right, Almond. There we go. That would have been such a waste of a potion, dude. Okay, I did pick up a potion from like Route 2 or whatever, like Route 202 or something. Then I forgot it back there, so I went back in the back when I was grinding, I think, and I picked it up, which is cool. I just don't know if I caught it on camera. I'm pretty sure I did. All right, I'll defense curl one more time because you have another Mon in the back, and we'll see if we can just have Almond take care of both. And then I'll just destroy with Rock Smash over and over and over again. It's super effective, but it does absolutely no damage. Look at that. That's nothing. I mean, I'm, I'm literally taking no damage now, too. But listen, I can lower the defense. There it is. Case in point. Okay, well, now it's even back out because 
Gramyo? Glamyo went for a uh, growl, but you know what? That's fine, because my thing isn't just doing the growls or whatever. I get to attack and lower your defense at the same time, but it's a 50% chance. So come on, get it again. Okay, that's fine. It is a 50% chance after all. All right, you should be dead. Come on, Glamyo. Ah, oh, so close. So close. All right, I'll just go for tackle. I'm just going for tackle. We don't need to rock smash. We can save our rock smashes. There we go. See, I always used to hate using rock smash in the past because it does absolutely nothing. But the fact that it can has a chance to cut the defense, that's not bad, especially if you're using it on a normal type. Stunky, okay. Uh, or like against anything that's good against. Okay, Stunky. Um, no, I'll stay in. I'll stay in for now. Let's see. Stunky comes out. I don't think any Team Galactic would have Aftermath. I think they wouldn't do that. They only have that for a wild Pokemon. Poison Gas. Yeah, go ahead. Just try and poison me. That's fine. Um, I don't think poison Pokemon die in this game. I think it's Gen 3 they die, not this Gen. Come on. Can, can I get the lower defense, please? Poison Gas. Man, you keep missing that. I am sorry. Every every Stunky that's gone for Poison Gas has missed it. That sucks. Okay, let's see if we can get one more uh, one more defense. Uh, that, crit, that crit is scary, uh, especially since I have a lot of defense on me right now. Um... I think only two stages, actually. So I'm going to start. I'm going to tackle. Fury Swipes. Oh, oh, thank goodness. That could have been really scary. Okay. Focus Energy Fury Swipes is scary. Why do I do no damage? What the heck is this? I literally lowered your defense. Okay. Screech. Now mine's back to normal. Okay. Um, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Rack Smash, please lower defense. Okay. No, it didn't. Um, I'm going to go into Biscotti. Please don't Fury Swipes and crit like every hit. I swear, if you do, that'd be so unlucky. Especially since I'm intimidating you right now, and that would break through the Intimidate. Come on. Let's see. Come on. Poison Gas. There it is. Okay, finally I'm poisoned. That sucks. Unfortunate. We just gotta deal with it. Maybe. Ooh. No, not, not. Okay, not. Definitely not. I was about to say, maybe I could go out into, uh, you know, what's its face? Spaghetti. Man, this, this Donkey actually has a pretty good set. Poison Gas, Screech, Focus Energy, uh, Fury Swipes. So you can crit with Fury Swipes. You can lower the defense. Okay, or Biscotti just destroys things with Spark. Why don't I just use Biscotti only? Literally, Biscotti just destroys everything. Why was I even pretending to use Almond? I really don't like kids who also happen to be tough trainers. Yeah, well, I don't really like you almost killing my poor Almond. Okay, I'm gonna... Yeah, there's the there's the poison. Kind of spooky. Um, I'm... Uh, you know what? I am confident that it won't kill. I am very confident that it will not kill. And even if so... I think I can make it to Pokemon Center in time. That's a lot of steps, though. That's a lot of steps. Oh, and I missed up a few steps. Oh, that's pretty darn low, but I'm pretty sure we get there in time. Let's see. What's your HP at? Four. Okay, we're good. Yeah, I, I'm almost certain that it survives on one HP, but in Gen 3, it does kill. I'll look that up just to be sure uh, after this episode, because we're about to end it, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. So, in the next episode, we'll go finish off the Valley Windworks thing and then move on with our journey and see where it goes from there. I will grind up a little bit more. Unfortunately, we didn't get any new encounters. I really want to get new encounters, but like we just didn't really get any. So I guess I'll level up Granola a little bit. I don't really, I know he don't really want to, but actually, you know what? I'm going to put, I'm going to put uh, Granola in the box for now. I really, I hate to say it, but I really don't feel like using Granola right now. Having two water types on the team just isn't, isn't my thing right now. I mean, I probably, I, there are other water types I'd rather use, like Finneon. I love Finneon, like Magikarp. But, you know, Psyduck just doesn't really do it for me, so I'm going to put Psyduck in the box for now. Um, also, in the future, when we finally do lose a Mon, I'm going to put it in this box right here, and I'm going to call it Dead. Uh, most people like to either keep them in a box called Dead or release them in a, uh, or, like, just release them. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to put them all in the Dead box, and then near the end of the game, I'll release them all. Just so we have like a funeral for each Pokemon at the very end of the game um, before we fight the champion or something like that. Or maybe after. No, probably before. Um, and then we can have like a secondary. I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. But anyway, I guess I will see you all in the next episode. So thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, everybody. Bye bye.